Well, new at six tonight, a growing issue across the nation and the spotlight, of course, here in Charlotte. The concern involves the increase in people who have been killed due to the traffic violence around the area. Yes, it is a world day of remembrance for road traffic victims and the Queen City is sharing a message hoping to keep folks safe. Here's WCNC Charlotte's Miles Harris. Raising awareness in hopes of saving lives as the city remembers those who lost their life due to traffic violence within Charlotte. Safety advocates are pushing an important message that safe roads do save lives. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police welcomed families from the lives lost on the roadways as part of the city's World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims. We will make sure that they are not forgotten and that their legacies live on through us as we continue to work our, to make our streets safer. Debbie Smith with Charlotte's Department of Transportation stresses the concern for the entire community. According to her department, since 2019, there have been more than 300 lives lost on Charlotte's streets from traffic violence. These annual events are especially important because traffic deaths are on the rise dramatically in the U.S., far outpacing other high-income nations. City organizations such as Sustain Charlotte are focused on enforcing policies and funding in order to keep the community safe. Last week, in fact, City Council improved increasing the fines to $100 for blocking transit, pedestrian, and bike infrastructure. Policies that are key as the city constantly welcomes new residents and more drivers on the roadways. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing uh, cities in the nation. And with that, you bring people that maybe haven't grown up in this area. Maybe these roads are new to them. And so I can't emphasize enough the driving without distractions and driving for the safe speed of the conditions. Miles Harris, WCNC Charlotte.